have uh, had trucks since the 1980s uh, merely to carry vintage tractors around. Uh, it was impossible to maintain a, a, a truck on full registration financially, so I looked around for something which would be able to be placed on historic regio. And, and uh, this is what turned up. Uh, I was pointed towards Abood's transport. This truck was uh, up in their backyard. It had been laid up for five or six years. It had a fault in the engine. Uh, I concluded a deal with Brian Abood um, uh, including rectification of the engine problem and that's how I came by the truck in December 2002 and I've since therefore had the truck nearly 12 years. Um, it has been utterly reliable, uh, it has never let me down, I've probably done about 60,000 kilometres in it. This is a Cedric Abood creation. It is not original in any respect whatsoever except for the shape of the cabin and perhaps the front axle. Uh, the rest of it is a hybrid that has been put together uh, in Abood's workshops. Uh, they have, uh, for example, uh, modified the, the original cab to put a small sleeper extension on it. They've put a, an extra skin on the top because these fiberglass cabs from Thornycroft were notorious for popping their windscreens. They pop them into the driver when they were travelling. Where the truck in its original guise was a single axle prime mover and it, it plied the New England Highway uh, throughout the 1960s carrying products from Port Kembla to Brisbane or Toowoomba and backloading with things like potatoes and so on. Um, Abood's were very much into produce as well but when it came time to do an engine overhaul they discovered that the original Thornycroft engine was not uh, they could not grind the crankshaft, it was not heat treated sufficiently to and, uh, support a crankshaft grind so they laid the truck up for a while I understand and then uh, Cedric got to work on it and it, it came out of the workshop like this. Um, it has uh, now sports a, a Gardner uh, 6LXB engine which is 180 horsepower but he has added a turbo which is, would have voided the warranty on a Gardner engine. It has a Road Ranger 10 speed gearbox uh, Eaton two-speed diffs on a Hendrickson shear ride that is a rubber block only suspension, no springs, no springs. Uh, it can maintain a, a speed of about 95 kilometres an hour, uh, but 97 is actually maximum rev, so 95 is only a touch under and you have to be very careful about overriding because the maximum allowable revs on a Gardener is 1920 and uh, that gives you very little margin and there is no engine braking whatsoever on this truck going downhill so uh, and, it, and it therefore doesn't even help to go down gears you rely on the brakes entirely but, but um, today we're going to confront the Moomby and we <laughs> have to work out exactly what we're going to do to travel down the Moomby because it'll be a challenge. It is a pretty unique truck there's not there's not any other trucks of this type on the road there are there are two more than I'm aware of of this style truck, this model which is known as a, a Mastiff or model ML in Thornycroft speak. Um, this one did have a name and, uh, and I've been talking to one of the drivers who drive, drove it in its original form and drove it in this form. He worked twice for Abood's at different periods and, and uh, you can just discern on here it's called Hello, H-A-L-L-O, D-E-R-E, Hello Dare. And, and it's a quirky truck. It, it's just such such a, a, a funny looking English truck. <laughs> it's, they, they, uh, they, some people say, oh, that looks terrible. I think it's a great old thing. <laughs> Thank you for watching Truck Stop TV. Please remember to subscribe and see you at the next Truck Stop.